Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to another edition of our Positive Web. I am really delighted to return your way again today. Thank you for joining me. The topic today is avoid exaggerations. Exaggeration is something that most of us, majority of the people in the world, we use it for various reasons. We want to make impact, to make effect, to make what we're seeing to sound more convincing for our listeners, our hearers, so they can believe us. However, I'm just coming here today to just speak and remind us about God's position concerning this behavior. When we make things appear to be larger, better, or more important than they really are, where is that you're rating? In a simple language, you're telling lies. You mislead others when you exaggerate. The Bible talks extensively in various chapters and book verses about lying, bearing false witness, leading others astray by the things we say, Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, among other things, it says, all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. I am just stopping here today to tell us, to remind us, to stick to the truth. We cannot add to the truth. Let's not make any attempt to add to the truth, to reduce it, to change the truth or embellish it. This is the uh, human beings are very skillful at trying to make things look more than they are or less. When you tell it less than it is as well, it's another form of exaggerating and lying. It is sad. Colossians chapter 3, verse 9 says, Do like, we should not lie to one another. God hates lies. When you lie, you damage your reputation. Because over time, people would see through the lies that you've told. You do not even remember all the lies you've told and you come and contradict yourself. And that's not good for your well-being. Lying is just as bad as every other evil or sin as stated in the word of God. In Revelation chapter 22, verse 15, and even in the um, chapter 21, verse 8, lying is grouped amongst things like magical arts, sorcery, sexual immorality, murder, idolaters, those who worship idols, and those who love and tell lies. That lying is part of all these negativity that the Bible lists to us that God hates all of these and all these people, people who engage in dodging such things will find their part in the lake of fire. It is such a deadly situation the world is in today because lie has been beautified and decorated and accepted as the norm. It is now called a white lie. The little white lie you tell to get swindled your way out of situations, to cover up something, to make you look better than you actually are. God says, no, God hates lie. Whether it was told by a pastor, a celebrity, the king, the queen, a politician, a parent, a child, a servant, whoever you are, God hates lies, end of story. It is not right before God. That is not the way we are meant to live. Avoid exaggerating at all costs. Let us speak the truth because the Bible says to us, it is the truth that will set us free. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. The truth in Christ Jesus will set us free. Jesus lived and walked this earth to be our shiny example. We can live right. We can do things right. Beloved people of God, avoid it. I know it is very, very 
enticing sometimes to just to just say that little lie to get us out of something or to make something better, make us look better. But it is not God's will. By the Spirit of God in us, we will be able to live without telling lies. Please let us avoid exaggerating. That has led the world into a lot of things that we're in today. Most of the situations we experience today are because of the little lies that have been told. Little by little, it has become the way of life. God hates it. All liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Repent and be saved because God wants us saved. Thank you for joining me. God bless you.